Hi guys, this is Gabe here from CSC. Today, I'm just giving you a quick tutorial on how to properly set up your audio in order to chart for Clone Hero. Now, there are a couple of programs you're going to need. The first one is Audacity, which I have open now. The second is Media Info. Now, the download links for both of these are in the description. And if you don't have them already, then download them and come back to this point in the video for the next steps. So once you've downloaded and installed them, you're going to want to take your um, audio file procured through legitimate means, right click and click on this new media info option, which will have appeared in your context menu. This is just to check this number here. It needs to be 320 or higher. Um, this is the uh, quality of the audio file, so to speak. Provided it is 320 kilobits or higher, you can move on to the next step. If it's not, you're going to need to find a higher quality version of that audio file. Never rip audio from YouTube as it will be too low quality um, and it is noticeable in game. Now, once you've verified that, just close that window. You're going to drag your audio file into Audacity. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make sure we have the track selected by clicking on it. Use this button to skip right to the very start. Go to the Generate menu, click Silence, and then add two seconds of silence. This is to ensure that when the chart is played in game, it doesn't start instantly as soon as the fretboard appears, um, giving players a moment to prepare. Once you've done that, um, we can move on to the next steps. Now, this is the final audio file that will be played in game. This is exactly how it will appear. So what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Export, Export as OG. Now here, you're going to want to set the quality to 8 and you can um, and you will want to just then click save in a convenient directory for you wherever that may be. I'm not going to export this just now to save time but you would click the save button. Um, this quality 8 is very important because 10 is simply too high. What that will do is basically bloat the file size to way beyond what it needs to be without any actual improvement in the quality of the audio file. So 8 is just fine for what we're doing now. So obviously you'd click save. I'm going to click cancel now. The next job is a slightly more um, advanced thing that I think most people aren't aware of. So what we're going to be doing is a process called center cancellation. This allows you to much more clearly hear the guitar parts um, and it's really quick and easy to do. So I'm first going to quickly play to you what the start of this song sounds like now so you can see the difference that this makes. So as you can tell, um, the guitar, you can hear it in there, but it's quite a thick mix um, and it would be nice just to have the extra certainty that hearing it a bit more distinctly would bring. Luckily we can do that. So use Control and A to select the entire audio, click Effect. If you are on a 1080p monitor, you will need to scroll down to find this option. Go to Vocal Reduction and Isolation, click on that. From the drop down menu here, you're going to choose remove center. Once you've done that, you should leave all of the options on default and just hit OK. Now what this will do is bring out the guitar in the song much more clearly, which makes it easier for us to hear and easier for us to chart accurately. And I'll play you what it sounds like now just to demonstrate the difference that it makes. So as you can hear, that is much clearer, it's much easier to chart. Now you should be using this file as standard when you are charting rather than the original song. Even if you think you don't need it, you should use it anyway because there are little mistakes that you might otherwise make which you won't make because you've got that extra clarity. So then you're going to follow the same process of exporting it um, as an AUG quality 8 just like before. I'm not going to go through the whole process again. 
but save it in the same place as your original audio file, though with a different name, uh, for convenience. Once you've done that, we're gonna we're not done yet. There's one more thing we have to do. We're also going to apply a process called center isolation. Now this is basically the inverse, and what this does is it makes it the guitar much clearer in solos. So your center removed, center cancelled audio will be useful all the rest of the time, but during solos or when the guitar is playing a high part, sometimes as well, you'll want the center isolated um, audio in order to hear it properly. Now you should be able to get back your original audio file just by hitting Ctrl and Z and you'll see the waveform change um, back to its original because we've only done one action. What we're going to do is we're going to go to effect again. We're going to hit vocal reduction and isolation again. We're going to go onto this drop down menu and this time we're going to use isolate center. Again, there's no need to change any of the settings from the default, so don't bother messing with them. Just hit OK. So this is a good song for this, actually, because you may have heard earlier that in that first section there are two guitar parts. Now, the remove center option made us hear one very clearly, but that other one is much higher, It's in, and therefore, if we isolate the center, we hear this. Now, as you can see there, that's much easier to discern. And that is really useful, like I said, in solos and in some other high sections. Uh, it's also useful if you're charting other instruments like uh, keys in particular. Um, so this is now ready. You can go to export as OG again, like we did before. Um, again, save it in the same place as your other two audio files, just um, for convenience as much as anything else. So now you can take these audio files to um, Moonscraper or EOF or if you hate yourself feedback and start the tempo map which is the next thing and that will be what I cover in my next tutorial. But this is all you need to know in terms of preparing your audio. Um, so I'm going to wrap up there. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the description uh, or you can come on our Discord um, and ask any questions you have there. But for now, thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in and see you in the next tutorial.